it's Missy and welcome to another Miss Trendy Treats. Today I will be making a bunny cake to celebrate the holiday Easter. He is going to be made out of um, carrot cake which I have pre-made. A shout out goes to Lizzie Jokiel for requesting this cake. So uh, without further ado, let's just get right in. First take one of your 8 inch round cakes and slide your bread knife through the top keeping the knife level all the way through and then discard the top. Now cut your cake in half and grab your icing. Now go ahead and spread a layer of icing on tops of both halves and then flip one side on top of the other half and then set aside. Working with your cake plate, generously spread your icing down the center. Grab your cake and with the flat side down, align it up to your frosting line and press to secure. Now we are going to cut out a notch for the bunny head. Cut down one side at an angle and then cut a straight line into the front, meeting with the angled cut. Hang on to this piece as it will serve as the bunny's tail. Moving on to the crumb coat, cover every inch of the bunny so to hold all of your crumbs in. Don't worry about this step being perfect because we will cover it again with a second layer after it hardens. Once the layer is added, go back through and lightly scrape any excess that may have built up in the smaller crevices. Grab a napkin and wipe off any mess around the cake. Set it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Once your cake comes out of the fridge, start adding your second coat of icing. This part doesn't have to be perfect either, as we're going to be covering it with coconut in the next step. In this bowl I have about two cups of coconut. Grab a little at a time and sprinkle over the top of the cake, gently pressing into the frosting to help it stick. It's okay if you drop some on the sides, just scoop it back up and stick it to the sides of your cake. Moving on to the rest of your coconut, pour it into a Ziploc bag with about 4 drops of food coloring. Close the bag and shake until desired color is reached. Taking your colored coconut, sprinkle it around the outside of the cake to create a grassy effect. Grab your white candy melts and warm in microwave until melted. Add a few red candy melts into another bowl with white candy melts to make a pink color. I found this nifty printable on Pinterest and then printed it out to a 5x7 size for the right dimensions for the cake. Cut them out and lay on a flat transferable surface like a cookie sheet. Something I should have done. Place a piece of parchment paper over your ears. Now take one of your decorating bags and drop a coupler into it. Push it down to the end and then snip the tip. Grab your tip number two in the top of the coupler and then twist it on until tightened. Repeat these steps with your second decorating bag. Now taking your melted chocolate, fill your bag and twist to close. Do this with both your colors. First begin with outlining each of the ears with your white melted chocolate. Grabbing your pink melted chocolate, go ahead and fill in both of your rabbit ears. If you're like me, you have forgotten the transferable surface. Just slide under and move to fridge until hardened. Once hardened, gently peel off from the parchment paper. Gently press each ear into the head of the bunny. I use brown M&Ms for the eyes and pink jelly beans for the nose. Grab your bowl of chocolate eggs and scatter them around the grass at the base of the bunny. Thank you Lizzie for requesting this and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up my weekly Wednesday tutorials. Alright, thanks again guys. Bye -bye. Some, um, I just can't get
you get into it. Why can't I just Yo. It's really easy and Hey guys, it's Missy. Hi. I was gonna say again. <laughs> <laughs> With um his cute little ears, okay, big ears, but still, um, I know what I want to say, I'm just gonna say it. If there's any other trendy treats that you'd like to see me make, just leave me a uh, comment in, in the blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. 